you need an efficient way to manage, share, and distribute your standard operating procedures, far too often owners, managers, supervisors, they get distracted by their employees because the employee doesn't know how to perform a specific task or they don't know the process. If this sounds familiar to you, you're going to want to check this out. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name is Zach Stevenson. I am a business processes and no code consultant. If you have questions about streamlining your processes, send me a message or book a free consult using the link in the description below. In this video, we are going to create a standard operating procedure distribution system using Smart Suite. So what it's going to allow you to do is set up your standard operating procedures and your employees will have a simple way to go in and view them to make sure that they're performing the task properly. And if they have questions, they won't be interrupting you or distracting you from your work. What we're going to do here, go ahead and set up a Smart Suite account. There's a link in the description below. That way you can set up an account. Uh, it is an affiliate link, so I would appreciate it if you did go ahead and use that. But once you are in here, uh, you will need to go in and add a new solution. So we can click add new solution, create from scratch, and the solution will get loaded for you. Go ahead, name the solution, whatever you want. For this video, we'll just call it standard operating procedures. You can pick the colors and the icon, whatever you want, but we'll stick with uh, the default. This is your app or table or whatever you want to call it, but in Smart Suite it is called an app. So we can go ahead and rename that as well. I'll just call it procedures. And from here we have some default fields set up. Uh, this is just comes preloaded when you create a new solution within Smart Suite. So we can delete most of these. We will keep status and the title is there by default as well. That is mandatory. Every single table uh, and solution you create will be required to have a primary key. So we can delete the rest of these and we'll keep the status field open. We'll go ahead and click the modify field settings. We can change the names of a few of these. Call this to do in process. We can get rid of the uh, ready for review and I will add an archive for any procedure that eventually becomes irrelevant. So the title, we'll rename that. This is going to be our procedure. So that's just a brief uh, name or description that you want to add in here. Also that comes standard by default is a description, but it is hidden. So we'll click the fields to display, click description. We can also bring in the last updated. We're going to add some additional fields here. We're going to look up a multi-select field, and this can be our various departments within our company. And the last field that we're going to set up is going to be a smart doc field, and this will be our standard operating procedure, or we'll just call it SOP. So once we have each of the fields set up across the top here, we're going to rename this view to all SOPs. So this is a view where you as a manager or whoever is tasked with setting up this type of system, uh, this is where you would do most of your work in creating the information that the employees will see at the end. So what is important here is we will also go in, duplicate this view, and we will configure this view for all of the live SOPs or we could call it employee view or whatever you want really. So here, what you want to do is you'll create a filter. So where the status is live. So this way only the standard operating procedures that are completed and have all of the relevant information uh, that the employee will need to complete their task or process, whatever, only those types of records will show up. So that's how you use the filter. We'll also group by the department so that it makes it easy for the employees to find their standard operating procedure based off of their department. So right now you can see that it cannot find any records. That's because there is no records that contains a status of live. But we'll finish setting this up. What we can do is get rid of the status field. It's not that important for this case. So we'll remove that from display and we will also remove the department. And we can go back here, give it the description. So in the SOP field or column, it is called a smart doc. And in smart suite, what that allows you to do 
is basically it, you use it as a document editor. So you can uh, link to other records, you can forward slash key, you can mention other users, you can insert images, you can insert attachments. So if you already have some of these procedures set up somewhere else in a PDF um, or some other type of document, you can attach it directly inside the smart doc here. You can embed videos. So if you created a tutorial video, um, use something like Loom or posted it on a private or unlisted YouTube uh, channel, you can insert the links directly here as well. Basically, it is endless what you are able to do within this smart doc uh, field. So just for example, what we'll do here, it is add a heading and we'll just call this QuickBooks and we'll call it step one. So here you can add your checklist in line two. So create new invoice, add customer, items, products, and so on. You, I'm sure you get the point uh, by now that you can add in each step that is required. Again, you can make it look any way you want, anything that's relevant to you or the company. Um, basically, you have any uh, type of flexibility you want. So as I also said, you can just hit that slash G and you can bring in a video. Well, you can attach that if you have it saved somewhere uh, across your system. So that's how that works. I'll click save. And now when I flip back to the employee view or the live SOPs, they'll be able to see that is, is um, available to them to be able to open it up and see each step that is required. So uh, one other thing I did miss here is I missed adding the department. So for creating an invoice, it could be the sales job, it could be accounting, it could be either of them, depending on uh, who's actually looking after that specific task at that moment. But anyway, so this is where you would build out all of your standard operating procedures. And this is where your employees would live to be able to view, you know, if they're in the accounting department, you could have all of their standard operating position procedures listed out there. And you can see when the last time that procedure was updated um, and by what user. So that's how that works. Last thing that you could do that would also be handy for starting out is adding in an automation. So what the automation could look like is when a record matches a condition and you'll want to select the last updated by, or sorry, last updated on, is on or before, and then you want to pick one year ago. So what this will do is once the last updated on date is on or more than a year ago, the trigger will fire. So basically what this is allowing you to do is to review your standard operating procedures on a regular basis. You could make this six months, you could make it three months, or you could make it two years, whatever is uh, important to you or whatever, whatever type of system you would want to set up for your company. So that's the trigger. Then the action, you could set up a Slack message. You'd let it go to team. You could integrate your Outlook calendar or Gmail. Um, sorry, not Outlook calendar, but Outlook email or Gmail uh, to be able to send off the notice saying that, hey, this standard operating procedure hasn't been looked at in at least a year. So we'd click send an email is what I'm going to use. It's just the built-in send email option through SmartSuite. And then you can choose who this notice needs to go to, the subject, and you could use dynamic information to reference the specific standard operating procedure. So I won't save that, but that's it for this video. Um, it's pretty straightforward, but a very useful system. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment, send an email. And as always, there is a link in the description below that you can book a free consult uh, and I can try and help you get started. That's it for this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get updates on more tips, tricks, and tutorials in the future.